We're going to a haunted house tonight. We're finally here. I'm like nervous, but you know what? It's gonna be okay. We're gonna survive this. It's gonna be okay, okay. but I just wanna live. And we're standing there and I like glanced over and he like pointed at me and was like, I was like, uh, no. And he actually was trying to hand me this chainsaw. Happy Saturday. Welcome to Vlogtober Day 13. So today is going to be a lot of fun. We are totally doing something that is in the spirit of Halloween tonight. I am literally so excited. I'll explain that in just a minute. So we just ate lunch at Chipotle. I guess it was like lunch, dinner, dinner. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. We just finished. I am literally so full. I don't know why I'm so full today, but I hear whatever. Yeah, right there. We are actually now in the car. We're on the way to go do some shopping because mom wants to go buy some clothes. She wants to buy like jeans, a cute shirt, and some like combat boots. So we're gonna go try to find this all and we have to be at someone's house in literally two hours. Two hours. So I don't know how much shopping we're gonna get done, but hopefully we can knock it out real quick, get everything accomplished, and then we can go off to our friend's house. I'm not really sure how much I'll be able to vlog tonight. Mom says she's gonna try to film with her phone. So if she does that, I might try to also just I don't want to lose my phone, but we're going to a haunted house tonight. It's going to be so so much fun They put on an amazing show so like I'm really excited to go through it But now we're gonna go to TJ Maxx I think first see if they have some stuff that mom's looking for and then we'll be off to our next destination Okay, that was literally the quickest trip ever. I didn't even vlog anything We ended up going to TJ Maxx and they had everything but jeans and a vest. There's a FedEx truck blocking one of the lanes so we could not turn we literally sat there for like ever felt like forever i think it was only like a few minutes but you know how it is when you're like waiting for something and you feel like it won't just like someone won't move or something Coming. pet peeve of mine is like when things don't move fast enough as soon as we got home literally we jumped out the car Bradley got busy doing a few things and then i went upstairs and started importing my clips so I could like start editing and I got a little bit accomplished while we were home not much because literally we were only home for like 10 minutes mom's outfit is on this is what the top it's half kind of hard to see looks but like it's like a yeah. hunter green plaid and yeah then the vest and I got on some black jeans and boots <laughs> you can't really see the bottom half of it because she's driving but now we're on the way to our friend's house to all get together and then we're gonna head to the haunted house I'm not really too nervous right now but I know once we get in their car I already am. to head that way I'm gonna be like oh it's gonna be fast I don't know haunted stuff isn't like terrible but then again I do not do good with people jumping out at me like Maybe. Aiden has scared me before Briley scares me mom I'm has scared, scared me I have scared her so bad before like she went to the groom it was yeah. bad yeah I get scared easily like Mama has literally been standing in the mirror by our pantry door putting on her lipstick and because I'll turn around didn't realize she was there I'll be like oh my gosh you scared like yeah I'm just not really good with whole scaring thing we're gonna go enjoy the haunted house and I'll keep you updated with how it is and if I can do it I might film some footage for you guys finally here oh my gosh I'm like nervous but you know what it's gonna be okay we're gonna survive this there's already people like running around this thing. I'm like freaking out. Mom, yes. what are your emotions? I don't know. I feel like hey, right now, I think they're gonna aggravate the children more so than they will the adults. So I think me. we're gonna be okay. Okay. But I just wanna live. Funny. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Good morning. So I look really rough right now. So excuse this whole fresh out of the shower look. But I am starting to get ready and I did not end the vlog yesterday just because we did not get home until really late last night And I was like, you know what instead of just sitting up here and doing like a sit down talk with you guys and explaining how everything went I'll just do like a little get ready with me and talk to you guys about it that way We got to our friend's house and then we all headed over to the haunted attraction It was a lot of fun when we first arrived there. It was literally so busy There was so many people in line I honestly don't even think I could tell you a number how many people were in that line. It was packed. I think I had heard like the night before that they had like 
over 9,000 people, I believe, like the night before we went. And that night they said was busier. So if you could only imagine how many people were waiting in line when we were. It moved pretty fast. We were only in line waiting literally like maybe 20, 30 minutes because they had like four different lanes open that you could buy your tickets at. If we would have done it, we could have like bought them online, but sometimes it's easier just to actually buy them when you get there because you still had to wait in the same line. So it wasn't like you were really gonna get inside the attractions any faster. We got through and as you're waiting in line to actually like go to the main area they have people like walking around trying to like get you hyped up and scared like Jason Voorhees from Friday 13th was there and their makeup artists are absolutely phenomenal there they literally look so real he looked like he came straight out of the movie like makeup was on point but after that we walked through the little man because he had to like give instructions on what to do what not to do what ready to go once you walk past this point that we went to like the area to get on the hayride but in that whole little area it's like a little pavilion and you can just hang out and they have three additional haunted houses set up two of them are included in your ticket one is not while we were waiting for everyone to just get situated so we can go get on the hayride there was this guy dressed up with a chainsaw and we're standing there and i like glanced over and he like pointed at me it was like because they can't talk. I was like, uh, no, I do not do chainsaws. I am terrified of those. So I was like, mom, that guy wants me to go over there where he has a chainsaw. And she's like, let's just go and get a picture. And I was like, okay. So we walked over there and he actually was trying to hand me this chainsaw. He wanted me to hold the chainsaw up to him for our picture. I was like, what? And he's like, he can't talk. So he was like, hold it up. And I'm like, no, so our friend ended up holding it up to him and I was just like, I sent a picture and literally ran because the group before us, he chased them down the steps with a chainsaw. Got our picture, then we went and got on the hayride. And the hayride honestly was not that scary. It wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be. It was actually pretty laid back. After that, they let you in. They let you go through like 20 houses or something. And it's just amazing the way they actually put this on because everything literally looks like it came straight out of the movie. Like the houses that are set up and the cars that are out there and the different just scenes that you can walk through were on Point. I actually did not scream as much as I usually do during haunted houses, so I did better. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then after that, we went and did the other two haunted houses. Those were a lot of fun. The third one we had to pay extra for, and we decided just to bypass that. But it was so much fun. I'm planning on going to another haunted house this week, actually, with my friend. It's just like there's only four weekends in October, and that's usually when all the haunted houses, like, happen. So trying to fit so many in, unless your schedule's, like, fully open, it can be difficult. But there's so much I would like to do before October's over with. And I feel like the months, like, literally just flying by. I don't know if you guys feel that way. I mean, we're already in like the third week of October. There's not that many <laughs> weeks or weekends left. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how much we can fit in in the last two weeks. I have a bunch of really exciting videos happening that I'm really excited about that will be coming out this week. Tomorrow I'm going to be posting a what's on my phone video for any of you guys that are curious as to what I have on my phone. Also, I posted on my community and told you guys to send me some ideas of videos that you guys would like to see. And I had so many good response and ideas that I'm really excited to film those videos. So I am really looking forward to the Halloween makeup ideas. Those are going to be a lot of fun. If you guys know what character or Halloween look you want me to do, make sure you comment that down below because I'm like trying to figure out what would be really cool to do, like as far as makeup wise. I still have not picked out my Halloween costume yet. I have ideas but I have to go make the costume. <laughs> also, I have to make Charlotte and Charlie's costume because dog mom life. I have to figure out what they're gonna be. It's Charlotte's first Halloween, so she has to be something good. But yeah, that's kind of what is going on in my life at this exact moment. I'll be filming the what's on my phone video today sometime, so it will be up tomorrow. Yeah, I just wanted to come up here and give you guys a little update while I was doing my makeup because I felt like this would be a little more interesting to watch than just me standing here and talking to you guys and gives you something else to watch besides just me talking but yeah I think I'm just gonna end it here I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and getting ready for today it's kind of late I just got out of the shower so I'm just trying to do this really quick because I have a lot to do today I hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did give it a big thumbs up let me know if you guys enjoy haunted houses or like I said leave a makeup suggestion down below also don't forget to subscribe come back tomorrow if you're curious as to what's on my phone and I'll see you guys then